Hello, my name is Karat Goloma Miriam. I'm a teacher of Asian Medical Institute and I teach Latin to few. Before starting my lesson, I want to remind to my students about importance of studying and hard working for the youth. Because you have chosen one of the most difficult and responsible professions. And now time is given for you to study, to improving your skills, to deepening your knowledge and to enlarging your scope. So use the time properly and you will make a good doctors in the future. So uh, now let's start our lesson of Latin language. And today we are discussing clinical terminology. You know that medical terminology is divided into three parts, like anatomical terminology, clinical terminology, and pharmaceutical terminology. And today we are discussing clinical terminology. What is clinical terminology? Clinical terminology it is the most extensive section of medical terminology. It includes the concepts of clinical specialties and specialties research and treatment methods, physiological and pathological processes, diseases and abnormalities, therapeutic and surgical procedures. According to their structure, clinical terms are divided into three types, like one word terms, which are non-motivated, word combination terms, and compound terms, which are fully motivated. Let's discuss each type of them separately in details. One or terms are simple words consisting of a root word or root word with suffix and prefix. According to these one word terms are according to these are divided into two types. First is root term term consisting of a root which is borrowed from Latin into English by full or partial transliteration, means by keeping ultimately same spelling or spelling little bit changed. Look at the examples. Trauma, in English trauma. As you see, trauma was borrowed into English by full transliteration because spelling in two languages ultimately say. Next example, gangrena, gangrene. This term was borrowed by partial transliteration because spelling in English little bit different than Latin spelling. Caries it is example for full transliteration. Second type of one word terms are derivatives, terms constructed by adding prefix or suffix to root terms. Look at the example, trauma, it is root term, and by adding suffix and prefix to this root term, we got two new terms, derivatives, like traumaticus and post-traumaticus. Gangrena root term derivative will be gangrenosus. Second type of clinical term, word combination terms, which consist of two or more words connected grammatically. According to grammatical connection, word combination terms are divided into two types. First type, Word combinations having structure noun plus adjective. Where adjective, which is describing noun, is fully agreed with noun. And it means that adjective is used in same gender, number, and case as noun. Look at the examples. Cista dentalis, dental, cista. Cista, femininum noun, dentalis, Adjective also used in feminine and gender form. Same is happening with next examples. Tussis chronica, inflammatio purulenta, 
Second type of word combinations are terms having structured noun plus noun. Whereas second noun is used in genitive case form and describes the qualities of first noun. Look at the example. Abscessus appendicis. As you see, appendicis second noun is used in genitivus form, ending is giving us this information. So which append which abscess? Abscess of appendix. See? Uh, abscess is described by of appendix. Same is happening with next examples. Ulcus gastris, ulcer of stomach. And tumor ceci, tumor of cecum. Third type of clinical terms are compound terms. Terms consisting of one or more initial meaningful part, final meaningful part, and affixes. And all these parts, if necessary, can be connected with the help of combining vowels. Initial meaningful part is a root word, which is nucleus of a compound term, which is usually Greek or Latin designation of organ, tissue, or part of body. Final meaningful element of compound term is component element which develops technological meaning about science, specialty, specialist, method of diagnostics, method of treatment, physiological process, pathological process, disease, therapeutical procedure, or surgical procedure. Affixes are means of term building, divided into two types. First is prefix. Prefix is a means of term building attached before the root word and gives additional meaning about location, direction, quality, quantity, co size, color, or absence of something. Second type of affixes is suffix. It is also a means of term building but attached after root word and develops new ideas about quality, relation, size, process, action, doer, disease, syndrome, some abnormality or deviation. Combining vowel, the meaningless part of compound term, which is used only to join roots roots with suffix or root with component element and uh, combining vowels they are not developing any meaning they are, they only make our compound term fluent to pronunciation look at the examples cardi it is root word nucleus of compound term and it is greek designation of organ heart by attaching to these uh, root word different types of component elements with the help of combining vowel, we can construct different types of uh, clinical terms, compound terms. So look at the examples, cardiologia, branch of medicine studying heart. Cardiologus, physician specializing in heart. Cardiographia. Graphical recording of hard work. Cardiogramma, graphical representation of hard work. Cardiogenesis, formation of heart in fetus. Cardiomegalia, abnormal enlargement of heart. Cardiolysis, surgical operation on heart. Look at the next examples of compound terms. Le, co, si, to, pe, ni, ya. Le, ka, cita, pe, ni, ya. So this term is split into parts. First is prefix, luke. Luke is prefix because it is developing information about color. Sit, it is root word because it is developing meaning of tissue. Pe, ni, ya. It is 
component element because it is developing meaning of pathological process. And all letters, these are combining vowels. Next example, bradycardia. In this term, brad is prefix because it is developing additional meaning of quality. Slow, card, it is root because it is naming organ, heart. And ia, it is suffix because it is giving information about process. And bradycardia will be slow heartbeat. Next example, osteomyelitis. Guys, in this term, we don't have prefix because this term has no information about quality, quantity, size, location, uh, color. So that is why in this term, we don't have prefixes. We have roots, oste. It is root word which is developing meaning of tissue, bone. Meal. It is also root because developing meaning of bone marrow and it is suffix which is giving new information about disease and O it is combining vowel which is on joining two roots. So guys, today we discussed with you clinical terminology, uh, discussed uh, compound terms and uh, i hope today lesson was very useful for you thank you for attention